One of the most important things, looking back on hindsight, um, is knowing how to choose before before you open the box to have enough wherewithal to say, is this a good exposure or bad exposure that I'm about to that I'm about to open? Yeah, because you can't unpoison yourself. You yeah. can't Sometimes be unexposed. You, don't even know what's in here yeah. you, open. you can't be unexposed you to radiation. You have to have forethought to say, is this a good exposure? <laughs> oh, okay. Or is this a bad exposure? Oh. So what do you mean by that? Uh it's beside me, like, I understand back in the 80s, right? Mm -hmm. People, I guess people, they didn't know what drugs were. They didn't know about crack. They didn't know how, how bad it was. I say this all the time, yeah. How, but now, in the two, in the, the millennium, I mean, His YouTube why, would videos, you wanna, why would you want to- His wanna, documentary, he Why would you want to try crack? I, I don't <laughs> get a drug. How the hell are there new crackheads? Yeah, I mean, I, I would not want to do that. I mean, that's- you know what it does. You see what it does. I mean, you could ride in any urban neighborhood. You see what it do. But for some reason, somebody going to say, you know what? I could do this. I could do this. The next thing you know, you can't close the box. You try to close it. You try to hide it. But then you try, it like it starts singing to you, man. You just, <laughs> I can't. I, can't I, I need this box back. I, I need this box back. You try to hide it, but then you know where you hid it, and then you go back and find it. And you, have, you have to be able to make those choices because they come at you faster. Boxes come at you faster when you're older. It seems like it come at you faster. You have to constantly be making choices and decisions like, do I open this box or do I pass on this box? Do I open this box or do I pass on this box? And there's long-term uh, benefits yeah. and long-term consequences. I mean, yeah. there's a difference. I mean, there's consequences for every action. Uh, but, you know, uh, some of those uh, consequences, some people, you get older yeah. sometimes. And, and some people, we see people with money commit suicide and with success. Yeah. And we see all these things. Sometimes you just want to feel better. And I just wanna. They say this crack can make me feel better. I feel like you, were, feel like you in a Billy Jean video. You know when he was stepping on the concrete. The concrete was lighting up. Drug use and abuse is very serious, uh, you know. But uh, these are the things. I mean, it's gonna cover another topic. But man. Yeah, don't don't good, and then it's, it's interpretation. Sometimes kids, some well, some people think it's good. Somebody else may think it's bad, and what somebody else think is bad, somebody else may think it's good, mm -hmm. which is weird. But some stuff it should just be like all the way across the board, like crazy, like, yeah, like messing with drugs, like heroin, crack. I mean, you should think that's bad. Like everybody should think that's bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I, was, some people, well, I just man, just sometimes I gotta you know. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be up, I'll be too up. I need to, I need, I need, I need to calm down. So I just, you know, ride the horse. And then, so, you know, most black families you deal with that, um, with that addiction to drugs because it, it messes people up, man. You know, the the crazy part about the drug is the stuff that, <laughs> the stuff that it make you do that, that uh, that makes you want to fulfill it, like just stealing stuff. Or, uh, you know, uh, just, stealing sexual I mean, not favors, just, uh, yeah, not selling just, loss of pride. Like, uh, not just, like you know, you ain't going to the store like stealing stuff. Like, they get creative. Like, do you know how creative you got to be oh, to God. steal copper out of an AC unit, man? <laughs> how mechanical you got to be? <laughs> Some of these people man. can fix anything. You don't lose your guy given talent. Like, these dudes, just you're cricket. crackheads, my wife. Had a rent house one time, and uh, the tenants was out, and some it had to be some crackers. They came in and they knew exactly where to go because it was a crawl space house, mm -hmm. and they got all the copper out the house. I mean, it's like they was plumbers or something, man. They got all. I mean, any kind of copper pipe she had, it was gone. It was gone, bro. And it's like, who? You know, how much money are you yes. getting for that amount Most of people work? People don't even want to go into a crawl space, but <laughs> unknown crawl space. Yes, <laughs> addiction. <laughs> Something that you want that bad to make you want to go steal copper, man. I've seen people overcome fears, man. Uh, like, like I'm claustrophobic, but I got to get that rock. I got to get under there. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, man. 
uh, scared of bugs. I see people who be out there in the cold trying to get their next fix. I you know, know what right? I mean? Yeah. And um, man, that that man, you have to be careful, man. What boxes you open, man. That's one of the analogies. Yeah, some of them you can't close. So, back. Yeah, some of them you try to close, you, you can't. You in there, man. It's hard to get out, man. And uh, sometimes, man, people, you know, there's a saying: you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink, right? And you realize that you can't make a person do something. They have to have the mindset to want to do it. You can't, you can't tell this person, dude, I can give you the information. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't open the box. Don't open the box. And then when a the person by themselves, they say, I got curious. Yeah. And, and, uh, and you're going to deal with that yeah. in, in life too. Um, and sometimes you can spoil a kid or a, a person surrounded yeah. by the best choices all the time. So yeah. they think, yeah. The best options are always going to be available. Yeah. Well, I'll get it again. They get that entitled. Yeah, entitled. I'll, yeah, you know, yeah. I'll, you know, I'll make another forty thousand. I'll make another. I'll get another scholarship. I'll get another. You know, um, and then sometimes you know, as an adult, as a teacher, as a mentor, you know, or even as a person experiencing, sometimes those opportunities just go away. Right. Uh, That's true. And you go, hold on, hold on. I used to get. I I, I used to have. And w- w- what happened to? Uh, you know, well, we we tried to. We led you to water, like. 15 times. Every right. time you strayed away, we got it. We made you go to the water. And you saw all the opportunities that you had at the water. You right. didn't drink. Right. Now that now that well is run dry. Yep. And now you're like, well, can I get those opportunities back that I, that you offered me? For? Like, there's no more water. Exactly. We gave you first choice. Right. Now the water's been drinking. And some people, uh, we want to be honest about it. Some people know that the water is good, but they don't want to take the water because maybe not right they, now. they don't want to give up something. I want my well, freedom. I, I like going off on people, but if I drink this water, I won't go off on nobody. I'm I have to take accountability. Yeah, I like wreaking havoc. I like. Doing I mean, that. yeah, I've been. Yeah, you know definitely been there myself. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I went there like I'm an egomaniac, man. I mean, you're looking at <laughs> one of the most egotistical dudes, probably. <laughs> and had to drink the water and be humble, it, man. That was a, that was an experience for me. No one will take you where you want to go. It's not yeah. it's not somewhere you need it's you need to go there, but it's not yeah. somewhere you need or have to go. It's where yeah. you want to go, but you right. have to do this. So you have to let go of whatever's in this hand to right. get to get that. And you know, it's like, wow, why is that a hard decision? Why is the right decision <laughs> so hard for you to make? Because you want I know people won't do stuff because they're gonna lose their freedom. Yeah, the monkey in the like, uh, like, man, like, yeah, the monkey in the yeah. <laughs> You stick his hand. You're gonna lose your freedom. What lose the ability to do random bad things yeah. that you consider freedom to get what you want. Right. So you're scared you know to lose you know the possibility they, of doing something. Yeah, and they trick the to monkey, get what you right? want. Yeah. And they trick the monkey, right? They oh, put they, what you want. They put what the monkey want in the coconut. That's how they trap them. Yeah, and they put the coconut in the, in the cage. You yeah. open your hand. You stick your stick hand in the coconut and, and you grab you, it. But you can't pull it out. But you can't pull small. it out. And then they come to get him. <laughs> he can't. Get, he, he don't want to let that go. <laughs> so, da- <laughs> so, so danger's coming towards him. Yes. All he has to do to escape the danger. Let it go. Is let the coconut go. Uh, just to get his hand out the coconut. Let what's inside the coconut go. Yeah. Because his hand is in the hole of the coconut. And it's all you gotta do is let it go, let it go. Slide, just like you slid your hand in there, you slide yeah. it out. Like, but he can't. He, <laughs> put the box <laughs> in there and you're good to go. And then he get he get trapped, he get stuck now because he didn't want to let go of what's inside the coconut. So that's why you have to be careful about what you expose yourself to.